gonna get to be way bigger. Like, this is not gonna be that bad. You're doing great, sweetie. Kind of freaky. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh, <gasps> it's so like, with like a really nice. I can't. Yeah, my heart too. Guys, it's gonna be. <laughs> Why are you going like that? Are you like trying to go? I'm obsessed. Yes, Did we find the dress? exciting day ever. We're gonna find out if it's a girl chonk or a boy chonk. Chonky. Chonky. Yo, I'm not gonna make this exit. I want a big chonky baby. Honestly, with the way I've been eating, it's definitely gonna come out a chonk. We're on the way to the gender reveal right now. Place your bets. Leave a comment. What do you think, girl or boy? I have a feeling that it's a boy because I want a girl. <laughs> so I think that's why it's a boy. I think it's a girl. I think it's a girl. I'd be more surprised if it was a boy than if it was a girl. Yo, what's up with Miami freeways? How do I leave this thing, babe? Oh my god, I think you're supposed to exit. We were breaking it up. Yeah, relax, relax, relax. Penny whips this minivan. He is already in dad mood. So my family's snowing the gender reveal party for us. So we're driving to Boca right now. Raton! Boca Raton! So we're thinking about where we're gonna live down the line. And I feel like we would end up, I feel like we would be the type of people to end up like owning a house in Boca and like redoing it to our liking. But we would have to completely redo it because to be honest, there is no homes in Boca that have the style that has what we're looking for. It got what we're looking for. We're in modern farmhouse right now talking about the style we're looking for. Oh. <laughs> Ew, our chuggy little modern farmhouse. You got me, dear. But no, it's okay. We're gonna rent for like a year or two and then figure it out, who knows. We're gonna live in Miami 305 in this city. Um, yesterday, we were with the fam and my aunt told me that she used an entire thing of vodka this big to make pink and blue jello shots for this fiesta. And there's other surprises. My mom hired this gender reveal company, so there's gonna be some sort of dramatic reveal. I think it's gonna be like either like smoke or something dramatico. Henny said just please, nothing that involves him having to be athletic. Like, have you ever seen those gender reveals where they like swing a baseball bat, kick a people, soccer ball? I don't perform. Like, performing for the gender reveal is my <laughs> biggest nightmare. Doing I want to stand there and for something to happen in front of me. I don't want to be part of anything. I don't want to pull the thing. I don't want to like, you know, hit the needle on the on the, on the balloon. balloon. Like, no. I don't want to do anything. Because then if it doesn't work, you're there. Yeah, like, if you're ever. hiring a company, let them do it. I don't want to do a single thing. I just want to watch it happen. I just want to be surprised. Girl or boy? So there's so many people that are so sure of what I'm having. Like, everyone's so everyone's sure. Everyone's so sure. Like, you are so having a girl, but more people have told me that they're certain that I'm having a boy. There's so, There's been a lot of people that are very certain about what I'm having. How, I don't know. I did, like, a, I got an Instagram ad for, like, use our Chinese New Year to calculate um, what it is. And then it was like, how old were you when you conceived? 24. What month did you conceive? What year? And then it said I'm having a girl based off of Chinese New Year. Really? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the same thing your Brazilian family used. Yeah, but then people got psychics and stuff. Like oh yeah, my grandma got a psychic! Without asking my permission. Apparently psychics, I don't know. Apparently psychics are not like good. Especially if you're like Christian. Like apparently it's like demonios. Like you're like, not supposed to be doing that shit. But whatever, she asked the psychic and he said, girl, and then very shortly after, boy. But then like last night, the bartender, oh my God, it sounds like I was drinking last night. I wasn't. Last night, the bartender at the function that I was at was like, it is a boy. I bet you anything it's a boy. I could tell by your face. Basically, because my face was snatched. She's like, if it was a girl, your face would be round, but it's a boy, because your face is like this. And I'm like, maybe I'm just snatched, but. We about to find out. But we about to find out. We got lots of cars at the function. We have a very excited family. This is the first, I'm the first uh, grandkid, so our baby is the first great grandkid. Oh, 
Thank you. And one for you. Thank you. Use it. <laughs> right now. Are you nervous? He needs water. He's freaking out. We have a Look here, look here! Everybody ready? Ready! ready. ready. I was so sure it was a girl. I, th I think I wanted a girl. Oh shit. Oh. Hello, hello. So it's a boy. Oh my god, it's so weird talking about it because I've been hiding this for so long. And it's definitely had time to settle. Like, as you can see in that video, that was filmed a couple months back. Like, now I have a real belly. I used to laugh when I would see gender reveal videos and the girls were like barely pregnant. Like, I'm like, can't you just wait? But no, like the tea is, like when you find out you're pregnant, it's so weird not knowing what the gender is. You're like, I need to know what is growing in me like now. So yeah, now I can finally ask you for baby name recommendations. Our situation is a little bit trickier because we need the name to sound pretty in three languages. Like it has to sound good in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. We want something that's not too unique, like crazy, like bizarre, like one of those names where he goes to school and he's like, hi, I'm da da da. And the kids are like, oh, your parents must be a little funky, but nothing so common to the point where it's like, okay, we've seen, like, I don't want him to go to class and have other ones of him in his class. You know what I mean? Like when I would go to school with my name, Lauren, like sometimes there was other Laurens in my class and I hated it. I'm like, hello, I wanna be the only Lauren here. Hello, uh oh. But yeah, we're super excited about the news that it's a boy. I feel like everybody on TikTok for the most part was like, it's a boy, it's a boy. Because as Kim Kardashian said, apparently the girls take your beauty and the boys like let you keep it throughout the pregnancy. Um, so what I'm getting is from all the comments is like everybody thinks I'm really pretty So like thank you and no, I'm just kidding, but everybody really did think I was having a boy. But yeah, that is The tea we're really excited Apparently boy moms like really love their moms. Wait boy mom. What is it? Apparently boys really love their moms more and like girls are bitches to their moms which like that's true so that should be nice as the first one to like have somebody who just loves me if you watch the video back it's actually really funny because when the smoke popped like all the smoke went with the wind that way so henny was actually the last person to find out because he looked up saw nothing and was like hello and he was the last one to find out like all of our family obviously saw the blue ass smoke and in the moment it was so crazy because i looked up and that was the most blue blue i had ever seen in my life i'm like damn it is a b o y henny was shook for the first like 40 minutes after that like he was like he looked like he saw a ghost the rest of that gender reveal because i think he really thought it was a girl and i don't think he was mentally prepared and i feel like it he felt a lot more pressure now to like raise a man. I don't know, from what we've spoken about, it was like an initial shock thing because he's like, oh shit, like I have to raise a man. Whereas I think he thought it would be like a little bit easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, like raising a cute little girl. So shit got real for him in that moment. And yeah, there's a lot going on right now. We're at this Airbnb because the moving truck messed up. So now it's gonna take them an extra two weeks to get all of our furniture to Miami. Um, but we're being super positive and optimistic about everything. We made a little mini baby moon out of it and we're here doing the cabin vibes and really just enjoying this nice little time together by the fire, going on little walks in the forest because the moving process really is so incredibly stressful and having somewhere to just relax and unplug has been kind of nice. And that is the tea. So if you have any baby name ideas, for a little baby boy, 
let me know. I really like Rio. I think it's cute. I think it's different enough. I don't know. Let me know some fun ideas in the comments. This video is so, it's nice to finally post this video because now we know. That's it. Yay. Okay, bye.